We're talking to Dockers manager Adam Woodward after a 4-3 win at Faversham Town. Woody, I'll let you talk us through it. Um, yeah, I'm a bit speechless to be honest. Um, we all know what luxury East Faversham have. We come down, we set a game plan up. Um, you know, we chose not to listen to it the first 10 minutes and we went out and, and uh, to run a show. I was at this point we should have been maybe one or two up after half an hour and we wasn't. But, so then obviously sometimes as a manager you need to look at the decisions you make and we found ourselves 2-0 going at half time and I probably should take the blame for that, I should have took the goalkeeper off earlier, I felt we should have saved both goals um, but I didn't and I have to take flat for that um, but then just before half time they scored with the goalkeepers made an absolute worldly save that we could have gone in 2-1. So we haven't gone in 2-0 down, um, Ryan Mahal stepped up on in goal. And do you know what I said to the boys, um, as a manager you have to make decisions, I made the wrong one by not taking him off, but you need to get me out of the ship now, and did they get me out of it, excuse my language, sorry. did they get me out of it, um, that was exceptional, from back to front, absolutely exceptional, and even the subs that I brought on I thought were decent, but I think how long did Joe Chalk keep the ball in the corner there, with Harry Tay, must have kept him in there five, six minutes, and these players have got to understand, they don't always start, um, but they bring things to the table. And I'll tell you what, Joe Chalk come on board to the table. Um, Jim Truman as well, come, good win, fantastic debut. I thought he come on was really, really good. Chalker the same. And uh, Jack Holland showed us up at the end. And, and you know what? That is an incredible win. And I said to the players, I wouldn't have been able to do that when I played. And they've stood up today and they were counted. And they need to, take, they need to now believe. They need to believe that they... I don't think we believe really sometimes that we are a good side and to come here and win 4-3 with no goalkeeper for 45 minutes and playing with a goalkeeper for one arm for the last 20 minutes at half time. They cause us no problems. You've got the likes of Stefan Payne playing up front. They've brought Mafufa on. Um, they've got obviously your two wide men. They've caused us no problems. Absolutely no problems. And I don't think Ryan had a save to make the second half. So a fantastic result. The second half we just came out and just went straight at them and it, it clearly rattled them. Yeah, it did. And do you know what? Uh, players have got to take credit for that. Management can take credit sometimes. Players, listen, we can say things, we can motivate as much as we can. Um, but they stood out and they were candid. And they're a credit to the, a credit to the pub today. A big one after today. Obviously a huge win with, with Glebe not winning as well. But uh, a huge game Tuesday now. You know what? Today means nothing if we don't win Tuesday. Or get a result Tuesday. And Punjab's a tough place to go. It's a really tough place to go. It's never easy to go there, so we need to make sure we recover right. Um, yeah, I need to get on the phone and get the goalkeeper sorted. So, uh, yeah, why well, my whole can't go and go and give me a heart attack. But no, just some credit to the players. Great win and we recover well for Tuesday. And this is one of the days that football's all about. It is, it is. But, like I said, it means nothing for nothing happens Tuesday.